So I got this box from Allure Tech. Oh, Nat Fly. It's an HD digital KV, uh, digital TV converter box. So what this thing is, is it has an HDMI output. So it's not only like for if you have a standard definition TV and you want to watch digital TV on like an older TV. It also allows you, you it also works as a PVR. So you can uh, record broadcast by plugging into this USB port here. Um, and also it plays media files like MKV and stuff like that. It says on the box here uh, that it converts uh, digital signal and it has like, it doesn't say MP4, but it says MKV, which is an a a a AVI MPEG that VOB MKV. MJPEG, it covers a lot of like the stuff that it will convert, but so I've had one of these before. I've had my here's the remote for it. This is my, my homeworks box. I've done a video on that before. But this is uh this is one item I picked up at Walmart. So I'll take a look inside. So it comes with your old fashioned, you know, like uh RCA uh component connections. These wires feel very light, very weak. Uh it comes with a battery. Two AA batteries. It comes with a remote control. Lower tech. And let's pull that out. So it has your record button, has your timer, PVR list, your uh, things here at the bottom. It goes to your USB, uh, recall, go to, and all that good stuff that you expect from a PVR comes with this pop stuff. So one thing I recommend, I bought this at Walmart, keep your receipt. Make sure these things work. So, oh yeah, here's the manual. So, uh, for the converter box. I'm just taking the little box out of here. Has a sticker, sticky stuff that's sticking to my hands now on it. So it has that. There, a power on, an up and down button. It also has on the back of it, you got your uh, CVBS output, which is your video output. You've got your HD port, your RF out, and your RF in, which would be your antenna in. So this just does ATSC. Actually, I stand corrected. It also does QAM. But only clear QAM, and what QAM is is QAM. Uh, that's if you have a cable company that has unencrypted digital channels, you can um, get your unencrypted digital cable. But uh, at least here in Canada, I don't know of any cable provider that actually has in the clear QAM. Most of them, like they might, they might have like one or two channels that are in the clear QAM. Uh, but then the rest are digital and they want you to have a cable box that uses electricity and this on your TV. That's how cable works these days. So you don't necessarily need this, but this is just if you want to have the PVR. Another thing I think is annoying is that the USB port is in the front, not in the back or in the side. Unless there's like a way to put even put a USB stick inside there. That'd be kind of neat. To get inside it, there's like three screws here. It's actually significantly smaller than the uh, Homeworks box. So that's uh, that's interesting. So anyway, we're going to go plug this thing in the TV and see if this particular one works. So I set it up right above my uh, Homeworks box, which is not modulating properly. It's not reading any files on the USB stick anymore. Uh, it's kind of, it's not toast, but it's not working as good as it used to. And crash all the time. So... There, I'm greeted with these four dashes, and I'll take you to the screen. The screen I'm greeted with is the screen I'm greeted with is this uh, installation guide, English Canada channel search. It's pretty straightforward. So it's just going right into the channel search, which is good. I mean, that's actually that's good if you were to buy this thing. Plug your antenna in and just do your channel search. And right away, it's found channel 7, which is WWNYF. 
And this interface really looks a lot like the uh, HD HD um no gosh the homeworks box actually I'm seeing channels I don't normally get but today it's a really clear day like I'm getting the ion network so I, I can't really say if all oh, the tuners just super awesome it's actually a clear day and the TV upstairs is getting channels that uh, are not normally scanning in but this is a pretty good selection of channels I'm I'm in Kingston Ontario so this is uh, you know, what I'm able to pull in here in the area where I'm at. CNY. See, it, it, it doesn't tell me the actual um, channel number or anything. Got a, I got, I think I have a couple of the PBSs. You know, it'd be amazing if this thing is like really got a really good sensitive tuner and I could just pull in channels from like really far away. That'd be great. But. I'm guessing not, and it's actually pretty close to where the amplifier is too. So I got MeTV, WWNYF, and what else is there? My son's okay, he's just playing there, he's, he's a very vocal young child. You've heard him in some of my videos. And 37 channels, okay. PBD 40. That's the sub channel. Charge and TBD are like a WTBH. Or like some digital sub channels in this area. And you can see the frequency that the channel's on. Which, which is good. That's I, I like that. I like to know that. But I, I would like to know what channel it, it is. And there's two different types of channels with over the air. There's physical channel and then there is um, the physical channel, like with B7, and then sometimes there's the other channel, which is like the channel that it shows up as on your TV, but it might be broadcast like on a different channel. Like for example, PBS is on channel 16, but it's physical channel 41. Let's see, it even has a happy face that the, uh, the other box has. So I'm seeing some EPG and some stuff there. EPG, let's hit that EPG guide. Yeah, it looks very similar to the uh, the Homeworks um, interface. It's got very much the similarity. Similarity. I like that it does have the EPG stuff, and you can uh, you can scroll through the channels and it tells you the EPG, and then you see it all loading up for the channels on the program guide. So it actually has to go to the channel to be able to download the EPG information. Which is kind of good. I don't want to show the pictures because of copyright stuff, but I, I don't. I, it's okay to show the data that it's pulling off. Um, let's make a deal. Daily Mail, which is on channel 5.1. Charge has hearts for. It, it does display the actual channel. Red Dawn is going to be on later on. TBD, TB for people who love the internet. It's doing really, it's doing really good at pulling up the EPG. So sometimes on some of these things, the EPG is just not set properly for whatever reason. Uh, this one's doing it pretty good. So I'm just going through channel nine, WN, uh, WSRC, Syracuse. It's pulling in Bridge Street. And whatever, I don't even know what these shows are. I don't watch TV a lot. Make more videos about TV than I actually watch TV. So this must be me TV because I see the right the Rifleman and Andy Griffith show and Gomer Pyle US coming up later on. Um, this is uh, Bounce, which is showing the Running Man right now. And then there's Laugh. It's pulling in Laugh's EPG. So this is one I don't normally get. Let's hope this thing has like a really sensitive tuner and it pulls in these channels. Let's see, uh, this is like a Me TV 10 WX, which is News 10. Oh, that's like a News 10 loop. Okay, cool. I'm glad to see that type of thing. 
W H E C. I don't even know. I've never seen this channel before. It's on VHF too. So hopefully it's there to stay. It has ion too. And in this area, you get CKWS. And now for the EPG, it's probably not going to have anything right now. But it will say event number. It doesn't actually say the programming. And some Canadian broadcast channels are like that. WHAMHD has Steve. Dr. Phil. This is as the CW. We have another channel that gets CW. It has Charge, Hearts War. Uh, WCNY, which is a PBS broadcast channel. PBS will have like four sub channels. Usually in my area, there's two of them. One's Global, which is kind of like uh, the World Channel, or it has some of the. Uh, oh, yeah, Global is like kind of like what Megahertz used to be. Where it has like news channel, news shows from around the world. Splash of Bubbles, Daniel Tiger, WNYF, that came in, MeTV on channel 28. I won't go through this, but this channel actually has like the, um, the picture is kind of wrong. Like it has uh, this big boxed in. WNYS, I think that's a Fox affiliate. There it goes, there it goes. Get TV, Walker, Texas Rangers. Rename Get TV and name it the Chuck Norris Channel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Channel 50. Who wants to be a millionaire? And this is like a CW or something. I don't know. Loft. The Drew Carey show. Escape, which is like a crime channel. Ion Networks, which has like 10 channels in it. If we're going to pull in Ion right now. It says searching. I don't see anything in the video in the background. Cubo, which is a kid's channel. Um, Ion Life. Shop. QVCHSC. WSTYT, uh, which is, I think this is Fox. It, it just has like, you know, those bunch of those items. And then there's the Cozy channel, which is Murder, She Wrote. So, as I've done in my satellite video, I can get Cozy on over the air, and I can also get on, on C-Band. So, I'm... And I don't really watch a lot of Cozy. But it's there. Now, the button schemes on this, and compared to the Homeworks remote, is very slimmer. But the Homeworks remote, as I've tried here, is not working on this receiver. Which is kind of unfortunate, because like, if I lose this remote... And universal remotes typically don't have the same uh, setting on, on these Allure Techs, but since it's a Allure Tech uh, remote, like you can get them at Walmart and uh, like there's boxes and boxes of these things. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find one in a thrift store for, for cheap. So, but it, it, I'm disappointed that the Homeworks model doesn't work on the same, on the same unit because that would have been that would have been a, a plus. All right, so my experience with a PVR. Now I got one of these um, external hard drives that have a power source. And I found that sometimes for the high definition channels, like the news and stuff, this thing records that better. But you can use a thumb drive. Uh, some of these, this one's supposed to be pretty fast, but still it's not able to write fast enough for uh, uh, recording HD. Uh, I find it says I get the error message device is too slow for this is an Alexa uh, Just a USB thumb drive. I got um, So in my experience anyway, it depends on the right speed of these things, but I've found that uh, some of these Might give you an error message. It's not writing fast enough. And then there's these things that uh, Actually, I have found have worked for for my local news since the high definition is such a high bit rate it doesn't work. So anyway, you just plug your media thingy, USB drive into your TV, and uh, it will read it and identify it, and it will play your videos. Now, to play videos, I'll just go through that. Okay, there's two ways to get to um, the media settings. It's either you can go to your uh, menu settings and uh, and uh, go to this, what would be this menu, or another way of getting to where you want to be in. 
there's a button on the remote that says USB and it will take you to this menu and it will give you two different scenarios. It will be either PVR, uh, movie, photo. Now PVR you'll have to find the directory that has the PVR files. So when you record a program, uh, the program will come on and you'll see this uh, counter at the top of the screen. I think you can even back out of the counter. Yeah, just hit exit and it's still recording the program. It just turns the timer off and then if you want to go back to it, you just hit info and it'll, uh, the timer will be right there. If you're doing an off-the-cuff recording, just um, uh, hit OK to stop your recording. So when you're looking for your files on your directory, on the root directory, it should have a folder that it will create after, after the first initial PVR. Will just be HB, HBPVR, and then it will tell you the station and the time of the program. And it's a, it'll just give you the info, and it will be an MTS extension. All right, now just uh, so if you wanted to uh, record something, you just go to your EPG and you find where the program you want. Now I set it up there, you see the little red dot next to Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. So say if I want to record Pink Alicious Peterific, I just hit OK on the button and I'll say Add Event. And it's TV, channel, uh, the date. So it automatically programs everything in there. Now you can go to Add an Event and it'll do either two things. It'll record it or it will view it. So you can program this thing just if you want to switch it to a channel for certain times of the day or record it. Uh, and, it and when it does record it will do both. And you just hit OK and it pops up there as an event. There's the time of the recording that will, it will record to your USB storage device. Alright, now to watch a movie just go down to the fault folder that you want to use. Now I've got some sample um, things on here that I just wanted to use for uh, demonstration purposes. Now I have gotten, um, it does play MP4s. Hopefully this thing's going to work. Now it has this weird um, setting to be able to get full screen. You have to find the, so just when you go on, your video starts playing, you see this little, it's box like that, you got to hit the hold button, which is on the remote, it's like this far away one here. There we go. There we go. It takes a second or two to to go to where it should be. Yeah, but it's the bat, this button here, it says hold, which should be full screen, but it's kind of a weird th with this setting. But yeah, that's how you full screen the videos because I'll probably get in comments, how do I get full screen when I play back video? And it is kind of weird. Like it ain't, I find that's one of the things about this. It's not, I don't find it to be the most user friendly is the, uh, uh, when you go in your media settings, you play a video, you have to figure out how to configure it. It stretched my video because it's obviously playing off of a standard definition TV. But anyway, you just hit the hold button there. And the nice thing is with this thing, I like the playlist thing that it does on this, where it'll play the next um, the next video. So you can actually loop, like uh, set up a file list and just have a whole loop of things. So these are just my own videos that I got, that I created. Uh, seeing them on a, on a NTSC screen, it does look very stretched out, but... Um, you'd think that I'm my biggest fan. Well, I guess I am, but I'm just uh, using this because I uh, just uh, not get a, any of those copyright strikes from YouTube. So I had an MKV file in here that it didn't like, and other MKV files did work, but this uh, some of them went. Here's a video of curling back in the 90s with standard definition. that I shot with Super VHS. And in my experience, because I use a lot of MKVs and MP4s is how I edit my videos. So it's able to play MKVs and MP4s pretty, pretty decently. Even if it's the wrong aspect ratio, but that's just the TV. You just hold the, the, uh, the hold button on the side of the remote there and then that will get uh, you to back to full screen. Just really want to emphasize that because that is a tricky and annoying thing. Okay, another annoying thing I found with this device, the same with the Homeworks, is when you go to your HB PVR folder, if you click on movies, your video recordings will not come up. Keep that in mind. If you have like MP4 or MKV video files, go to movie or photos, which are like your photo extensions, JPEG and things, or MP3s or whatever. 
But for your PVR stuff, you have to go to that PVR menu to actually find your over-the-air recording. Well. And it will play in high definition. I just downstairs, I have a good old-fashioned standard definition TV because I like watching the older shows on 4-3 aspect ratio. So, okay, we're going to go to movie. So as, I, as you see, the they won't show up there, but if I go to PVR... And then I go to the uh, Homeworks PVR, where is it there? There is the folder, loading. There is that file that I was looking for, that uh, just a quick recording I did as a test. So this is the Allure Tech uh, box. I've had it for a few weeks now. I've been using it just personally for uh, as a over-the-air tuner, PVR, and uh, etc. And uh, it is what it is. It's nothing super fancy, but it does what it's supposed to do. It records your over-the-air programming. Essentially, it is a VCR of this day. Now, I know somebody's going to tell me, hey, it's another toy. Well, actually, this is uh, for my brother uh, who needs something like this that can play media files. And uh, um, it's mainly, actually, the thing I like about this is the media file um, thing about it where I can just create a channel and have it run as a playlist is the reason why I bought this thing. But it does all this other stuff, too. It's a PVR, it, uh, it's, it's an over-the-air tuner. Um, but yeah, I, I like it for its um, media playing features. So please give this video a like, please share with all your friends and subscribe. Please support me on Patreon. Um, uh, give this channel, the Ottawa Octane channel, a like. Please like, share, and subscribe.